Hi, it's April with Hair 101. Today I'm going to show you how to do a twisted rope French braid. We're going to start today with um, the hair parted on the left, or you can part on the right, but this is where I'm going to start. And I'm just going to take a little piece right here up at the top of her head. Okay, so when you get this little triangle piece out, kind of towards the back of the part, you're just going to part it into two, and I'm going to twist them both towards her head just once or twice. And then um, since I'm twisting them towards her face, I'm going to put the one that's closest to her face on top. And then I'm going to grab just from the one side, so this, this little part in the front will just be a lace twist French braid because we're just adding from one side. It kind of looks weird. Yeah, do you see? It does look weird, huh? Not until when we're done it won't look weird though, right? And you just keep adding on just from the same well, side. Well, this one is big. Okay, we'll make it big. In a minute. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So once you grab that last piece of the bangs, you're going to start grabbing from both sides. So go ahead and twist it over, and then you're going to grab from that side and just roll it, and then you can grab from the top too. So now it's going to be a regular French um, rope braid. Grab from both sides, put it over the top, grab from both sides. And you're just kind of turning it a little bit to go towards the back of her head now. And we're just going to bring it all the way around the back now. And every once in a while, if you get that little, like a little bump, you can just go in and grab it down and twist it again. There we go. So you don't have to twist it a ton, just a little bit, just to keep it together. And as you can see on the back, I'm kind of angling it down a little bit because we started at the top and we're just going to let it kind of go to where it tucks in just underneath her ear at the end. And I'm also parting like in pie sections around this part. So I'm not grabbing from the front yet. Look up, Daisy. I'm not grabbing any of this hair yet. I'll do that at the end. All right. So just add to the bottom, add to the top. And you're going to give it a twist. And this is pretty simple. It looks kind of difficult, but as soon as you start to get the pattern down, it's really simple. <coughs> We're getting down to the last bit. This will be our last time grabbing hair right here. So just add the last little bits in. Make sure you get this last piece by her face really tight because if you just give it a good little twist on both of them before you cross them over and then I'll pull them really tight and then you can finish it off now you can use the hair glue like I did in my other video with my hair bangs this is kind of the same type of braid but you just go all the way across the head um, so you can use an elastic at the end or you can use the hair glue if you want it straight Sometimes it's cute to do an elastic at the end and then like curl this up in a little um, flower shape on her head and use bobby pins to secure it. So we're just going to grab a little elastic. Alright, hairspray this down. So 
So I'm going to just curl this up in a little rose shape and tuck in the end and bobby pin it. All right, and she is done. Really fast, simple hairstyle. Stays in really nice. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you like the rope twist braid. Um, if you'd like to see how to do this on your bangs, I have another video. Here's the link. If you want to just click on the little box, and you can see how to do this. It's more of an adult type thing, or if you have short hair, it's really good. And don't forget to subscribe to our videos. Thanks. Yay, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zay. Happy birthday to you. They've had a lot of can. They've had a lot of. Is it okay? Okay, we gotta eat that.